Hello, this is Malorian, and this is going to be a bell report, but it's also going to be the first War Machine bell report from this month-long June steamroller we're doing. This is one I'm hosting, and the idea behind this is where instead of having it all compacted to one day to try and help people with different shifts, it's one game per week. You have to kind of figure out what works for you, and there's a set pairing and a set mission for each week, right? So in this first one here, I'm, the two lists I'm going with is with Ryus, kind of a more fun ninja list, and also more of a rock hard Saren list. And the guy I was up against is running Kador <clears throat> with uh, Vlad 3 and Karchev. So, with that, of course, I'm going to go with Saren. Ryus doesn't like high armor or anything like that. And so, what's in my list here is going to be Saren, two Carnivians, a Saren, or oh, sorry, a uh, Scythian, Angelius, a uh, Raik a Harrier, and a Shepherd. So this is a whole bunch of big, strong heavies. Get in your face, kill ya. It's going to have, of course, caster kill abilities, scenario abilities, so really a strong list. And on his side, I've actually faced this guy before. This is now 42 points, though, so it's a little bit different. And what he has is Vlad 3, the Spriggan, Drago, the War Dog, Big whole unit of Ulans with uh, Drago and the character Solo. There's also a mortar team and some Widowmakers. So he's really fast and really hits hard, but th this is going to be really a bad matchup for him because of how, with my feet, I can say, you can't attack me or my battle group. And so when you take melee away from a melee army, that can really hurt. But the big thing with War, War Machine is you never know what's going to happen, so let's see what happens in this one. So we're going to start off with pictures of his side. You know, he's going with the red theme. I have the red theme too, so it's going to be a bunch of red and black versus red and black. But uh, yeah, I mean, you got the Ulans mainly on the right flank. Then, of course, uh, Vlad and his main team there coming down more in the center, going towards where the zone is. But yeah, like I said, this is an army that can hit really hard, really fast. And normally for a guy like me that runs for a scenario, that means like there's going to be no scenario win here. He's going to be up in the field too fast. On my side, for going after the zone, I have my three big heavies and then the Angelus. And of course the Shepherd for going for some Fury management. I actually just used the little pot guy here because I, I like the model better. And on the right flank, I have the Harrier and a Rayek. And something I noticed after placing this here was that the Rayek was outside of my uh, control range. So I can't make it run first turn. But either way, their main thing is probably to try and assassinate the dog, slow down the Ulans, and really just be a hassle. And then his Widowmakers are going to be hiding in this building here and popping some shots at me. So just making sure you know where they are. So overall, the mission here is the one where it's number 9 from Steam, Steamroller 2013. There's a zone and a flag. You, get, you need 5 points to win. You can either dominate the flag for 1 point, control the zone for 1, or dominate the zone for 2. So I'm going mainly for the zone, hoping to get in some dominates. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's not going to be easy. I mean, he can probably, like, flood it with a lot of high armor stuff. The good news is I should have two turns of hitting him in combat. So he gets the first turn, and he's moving up, but he's not actually coming up me that fast. Uh, last time I played him, he was, like, halfway up the board first turn. But for this one, he's mainly just advancing. Uh, I think he's hoping to catch me with uh, a charge type thing as I'm going into the zone. So it's really just the Dragoon that's pushing up at this point. On my turn, I'm not holding back. Uh, almost all my stuff is running up. I have spiky growth on all my three main beasts there. Uh, the Angelius did hold back a little bit just because I really need it for its animus to push things out of the zone and for the armor pierce. But otherwise, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to fight. So on his turn, he charges in with the Dragoon, does some damage, uh, also shoots with the Widowmakers, does four damage to the center or Carnivian as well, but for the most part, he holds pretty far back. Uh, again, I mean, uh, I guess one of the things that's missing in this list, if he had some sort of, like, infantry to run up and, like, for me to hit it first, they could counter, that'd be one thing, but he's really hoping to, to hit me with the, the long range here. So again, uh, I, I kind of have my pick of the litter, but at the same time, I, I can't really just charge everything this turn. 
So what I do on my side is he actually had knocked me down with the Dragoon. So I stand up with the Scythian, I dismount the Dragoon, then I go in with the uh, Rayek and kill the guy that's on foot. Uh, I have to move over the Harrier just to try and get some things in the way there. I charge in with the Carnivian. He turns out to be out of range, but because I know the distance of the zones, I know that my... Angelius will be in, so it charges in, does 15 points of damage to Drago, and then Animus is the push them out, uh, move up with the Carnivian, go in there with Saren, doing some healing, and dominate for two points. So his turn, I mean, I, I have my feet up now, so he can't attack me back. So this is really deadly, and really all he can do is get into my face. Uh, one thing he probably should have done is ran more of his guys into the zone, making it hard for me to dominate again. But as he is, he's more set up to counter charge on the right side, and his heavies are just engaging me with toes in the zone to make sure I'm not dominating again. But on my turn, I'm still able to, so I'm able to charge over the Rayek, it kills one guy, uh, the Scythian charges in, kills two more. Uh, before that, to start things off, the Harrier had done its Animus to automatically hit, charge the War Dog, and kill it. Uh, then came over, and you can see I went really hot, but I destroyed the Spriggan, uh, destroyed the Drago, and uh, yeah, I mean... I dominate again. I'm at four points. I'm running really hot, but uh, yeah, I'm in a very good position right now. Uh, one of the things I didn't really plan on is, I mean, I had one transfer. I knew that these guys were in here. I killed one with throwing some blades, but hey, they need nines to hit me, right? Well, all three of them hit me, and so right away, I mean, I already had to do my transfer for one of the bigger ones, but I'm already more than half dead, and I lost my transfer, and uh, yeah, that wasn't part of the plan. And so what he does then is he charges in with the, the remnants of the cab on the right side. Uh, they're not able to, to really do too much. Uh, otherwise, he comes over here with uh, Vlad 3, and this is going to be his feet turn. So, I mean, after he, he killed the Harrier, his one uh, knight went over here to engage me, the Ulan. And then Vlad 3 comes in to hit me with some magic. Now, he made a little bit of a mistake here because by engaging me, now I had a higher defense like, from his magic shooting me, and so he, he does miss. I mean, I'm defense 20 against magic, so he tries twice to do, uh, what, was it Razor Wind? But luckily he fails, and I mean, right there, even though I was in a dominant position, I could have lost the game right now. So, in my turn, I have some frenzy issues, and the Carnivian beats up on the middle Carnivian, and the Scythian goes crazy, and the Rake goes crazy, but in the end, all that matters is that I heal up the Carnivian, it can come back and kill the Ulan, uh, even though I probably could have killed uh, Vlad 3, I decided just to go and push him out of the zone, and I score two more points. So there you have it, a big win for Saren in the Legion of Everblight. Uh, six control point win. And so in a steamroller, of course, the first thing you break it down by is by wins, then by control points, then by points destroyed. So having six control points will mean that I'm probably going to be at the top of it right now. So that's really cool. Although to be honest, going into this game, it was a really bad matchup for my opponent. He was an all-combat army, pretty much, apart from some little bit of shooting. And so being up against my thing here with a feat where you just can't do anything, I had the high strength to punch through his armor. It was armor-piercing as well. It, it was a really bad matchup for him. And so it, this is one of the things where it also really comes down to with those two lists, where when you go into a game and uh, for a steamroller and you have your two lists, you have to make sure you build them for all the, the different things you're going to have there, right? So if, if you were this one here, I have something where it's really good for combat, right? And then if there's something else that has really good for shooting and it's whatever, I can be bringing out my rice list where I'm shooting back and have oculation and stuff like this. And so on his side, he was saying that his Karchev list, which I also assumed would be really uh, heavy in combat and all the stuff, actually had a lot more shooting in it. Well, I mean, that's hard. Not hard to do when one list is all Calvin and all this stuff. But he said, yeah, I mean, looking at it now, he really probably should have gone with the other list with shooting. But then again, one of the things he was doing for this is that even though it's a steamroller and stuff, hey, it's a free steam 
steamroller, and he just really wanted to have more competitive practice with Vlad 3. So there you have it. Uh, another thing that was also pretty major going into the game is that he had never played against Saren before. So Saren is one of these people with this ball-busting feet, and so if you come into that, it's just yeah, you're going to have a bad time as the meme goes. So there you have it, a big win, and I hope you guys like watching it. Bye.